Stanno salutando tutti. Eh, dimmi di vedere i nomi, Shisha. Eh, oh, no, non vedo, non vedo ora. <ride> so, devi... <ride> Sorry! Virginia, can't see your names. I don't know how to, how to, how to, to see you here. Uh, so, I hope that we can go ahead. Sì, 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 comunque sì. Ma se ti vedi qualche nome, you tell me okay. and I greet you. I hope all my girls or my friends, girls and uh, boys are here with me. So, the, darling, I take this, uh, this is the veal, you know? You see, this is pink. 
So many people I know can't find veal, but there is just um, chicken, for example, in the USA. You can use without problem. And I want to tell you that piccata name is from to beat one piece of meat. So if you don't beat the cut from the meat, you have scaloppa. If you beat with a meat pounder, for example, you have piccata. If you beat a lot, you have piccatina. This is the meaning of piccata. But in this case, I want to show you. Rachel, ti, ti saluta da, dal Texas. Grazie, Rachel. How are you? <laughs> Ciao, Rachel. <laughs> Lots of things huh, this week. So, Gareth, I show you this. This is the right thickness of the veal. So, you see, I think it's a quarter inch, I think. And uh, in this case, we don't go with a meat pounder because the, the size is uh, mm, the right one, okay? So we live in this way exactly, but if you have tire, you have to, to use the meat pounder. And we go to put some flour here in our meat. So, not, a, not a much, but just a bit. We drain a bit. And we put our three, fermo, shi, shi, shi. <laughs> our three uh, slices. And then we had some salt again in the flour. Then we had some pepper in the flour. And we go again for the second way to take some flour. So you see. This is exactly what we are going to do. So um, we have three slices of meat with some flour. The first thing is to put the butter in our pan. So we put this here and we go directly on the stove. But you know that I like to have always some extra virgin oil that maybe I didn't put in the ingredients, but you know, I always put it together with the butter because I love to hide the burning time of the butter. So look at me how much oil I put. Van de Rica e Pina ti salutano. Grazie! Grazie a tutte e tre. Thanks to you. Thanks to you, girls. Come Virginia with me, I'll show you. Anche Tom da New York. Oh, Tom! Finally you are with me, Tom! I'm so happy to meet you! <laughs> okay, guys. So we go with this butter that we wait, it melts a bit. Then we are going to put our meat. This is a very simple recipe that is very, very delicious. And you know, so few ingredients, so everyone can do it. Remember. Before everything you have to drain and to rinse with some water your capers. So rinse the capers in salt. This is very important because they have to rest without the salt around. And be sure that your lemon is not hard like this. So this is a small trick to take it more soft. Now it's softer. And remember to cut your parsley. At this point, you can go ahead with your recipe. We take our tongue. So you see, it's very, very easy. And we go. In our pan. With our slice. The cooking is fast, but you have to know that it's important that after, when they are golden, when they are a bit cooked, you take the meat and you immediately put in some foil aluminum, so you are sure they still remain hot. So now remember, two, three minutes, just when you see bubbles, you have to turn 
your meat, like for saltimbocca, do you remember? Then we'll flip once again. But it's important that now we don't use anything. No capers, no garlic, no lemon, nothing. We just put the meat with the butter and the uh, fuel oil. Tom chiede perché è così presto che lui è ancora al lavoro come orario. <laughs> uh, we, here are five in the afternoon, Tom. I know, it, it's uh, ten maybe. Ten in the morning, yes, I know it. You have to, to watch and then you can make your dinner tonight. Because for me it's impossible to come at eight or nine because uh, it's another time for me and so it could be perfect maybe at midnight. <laughs> But we can, we can try to, to have another time. Maybe we can make private cooking classes, okay? Dice che sono le 11. Ah, le 11. Yes, 11. Okay. In Texas are 10, I think. <laughs> I... I try to, to watch all the times in every part because I like to be with you, with the most people. I'm, I'm so afraid and so sorry with people from Australia because many people wrote me, but now I think it's 3, 3 a.m. of the day after, of Saturday, respect to Italy. So look at me, now they are a bit golden. And we take this and we put in aluminum foil here. So they stay hot. Remember the aluminum foil still continues to cook the meat. At this point, we have our juice that has to be deglazed. We use the lemon juice first. Maria Garcia dal Portogallo saluta. Ciao Maria! Maria Garcia! It's my new friend! We are going to take the white wine, dry white wine. So in this case I put half a glass because I have not so much milk. Then we go. With the clove of garlic, you see, now I put the garlic, not before, together with the butter and the oil. This is important, right now, not before. Maria Garcia chiede se nelle cooking classes private puoi mettere un più dettagli. Certo, certo. In the, in the private cl um, live class we are interactive, we are live, and so I can, uh, I can tell you and I tell you everything. Of course, I try with the live stream because many people tell me, go, go, go ahead, go ahead. And so it's a, a completely different way. Now I put the capers, you see? They are not so big because they are capers in salt. Huh? So the capers from Sicily are very, very small, are not so big. At this point, we get, we are going to have some parsley. That is the, the first thing that I cut before, remember. Usually we use the parsley raw, so we don't cook it. But in this case, in some kind of meat or sauce, like in bourguignon, we're going to use even cooked. So this is our This is our glaze. What, what we are going to have? We are going to have our butter. This is the other 30 grams butter. So 30 grams and 20. 20 the first and now 30 grams. That is one ounce and maybe less than one tablespoon before. We put this here. Tom Amico ha scritto, do you serve the i capperi prima? Perché yeah. è sparito. I, about the capers. I drain the capers and I rinse in, uh, in water. So rinse in water, capers, then you drain. You take off all the salt, Tom. 
because we have be, we have to be sure they are not they have not grains of salt around. Sally da Cambridge ti saluta. Ciao! <ride> Kelly? Sì. E Sally? C'è mica Sally? No, Sally, Sally, Sally. Sally. E anche Kelly, tutti yes, e due. Sally, Kelly is a, a, a long time friend. And Sally Bycroft is the sì. is a friend, is a new friend that is follow me that, and that we we knew some time ago. So now, girls, this is the right movement you have to do with your wrist. So many people think that you, you can use the flip the whisk in this way, but this is the right movement. Is the movement you see that can see your soul. This is it. So this is the right one. At this point you see, you have your sauce. Your sauce is thick now. So we just switch off our fire. Because our glaze is almost perfect. We are going to take our mint okay mm. look at the glaze Qua. You can't smell, but it, this is, there is a delicious perfume. You see how is fast, how is easy, and how is fantastic the Italian old recipe. My granny always made it when I was sad and when I was hungry. And uh, since every time that you are going to make meat, the Looking is not uh, so nice because the meat is not so aesthetic. Yeah? You have to maybe to have some color, like in this case some parsley, for example. Or many people like to have some lemon zest because it uh, recalls the, um, the color and uh, recalls also the taste of this recipe. But today there is another, another surprise. Rachel Danseglio ti saluta. Ciao Rachel! <laughs> oh, I'm very happy you're here, Rachel. Oh, I have lots of friends. So in this period I am very glad to meet you because it's a very strange period in my life. So guys, sorry if I already take off the the, the course for my wine, but I suggest you to have your um, meat, your veal piccata with a negromaro, but it's not important the kind of uh, vineyard that you can have inside your plate, but it's important, in my opinion, that you pair your dish with a rosé, that is very good with this kind of dish. So I take one plate, um, one glass, pardon, then I offer this to my friend and my daughter, Virginia <laughs> as Grazie. well. Grazie. <laughs> <laughs> Hanno detto che abbiamo la stessa risata. <laughs> really? I, I show you, I want to show you uh, Virginia, I show you Virginia. No, no. <laughs> ciao, ciao. <laughs> Guys, so embarrassing. Tell me, tell me if you need something. I'm sorry, but I can't see your. Uh, Rachel dice uh, ti ringrazia per il vino che hai raccomandato. Oh, grazie, grazie a tutti. <laughs> And uh, um, I, I hope that you like this dish that I recommend you. That is very delicious. And I hope to meet you in another time. 
and uh, I'll tell you through my page, so follow the page Cooking Classes in Tuscany Cuoche in Vacanza and uh, follow um, also this uh, video because I jump here even when the broadcast is done. So if you have questions, no problem. Uh, everyone can ask me questions and I'm always at your disposal. And so I hope we'll go running the cooking classes uh, live, but there will be always this uh, kind of um, video of uh, live stream free because I am so happy to meet people, even if it's for free. This is my job and I love you. So, buon appetito! And uh, if you have if you have not questions, there are no questions, Virginia. Okay, so cheers, salute.